I'm now actively using Go High Level's voice AI agent. This is a robot that talks to my clients. Well, I'm gonna show you how to set this up from A to Z inside of Go High Level and the right way to use it so that you're not pissing anybody off. There's also several automations that go along with this to make it all work. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that you don't need a human answering your calls anymore. Two, you can set it up in under five minutes. And three, you can offer this to your clients for a lot of money and they won't realize just how easy it is to set up and how much value this brings. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna share my screen. Let's talk about setting up this voice AI agent. So as you can see, I'm in my go high level settings right now. Voice AI agents is here on the left. I'm gonna click on it. If you don't see it here, you can come down to labs to activate it. Now this does cost a little bit of extra money. They're really putting a lot of focus on this AI employee now, and that's essentially what this is. Now, in general, the AI employees suck, but this specific use case is really good and really useful. So what is this specific use case? Let's dive in to these voice AI agents. So as you can see, I've got one set up and it's in active use. People are actively calling this number and engaging with it every day. And the point of what I'm gonna show you to set up is an AI inbound receptionist. Essentially, someone calls your business number, who's picking up that phone? If you're like me, you're too busy to answer those phone calls yourself. They're typically not from your hottest clients. They're typically from people that are unqualified and confused, but you need somewhere for them to call and you need someone to pick up. So that's what this is for, the AI receptionist. I'm gonna show you how to deploy this in about five minutes. So if you don't already have this, go to labs, talk to their support, get that AI employee activated so you can get that voice AI agent on this screen. And from there, creating the agent is really simple. You go to create agent, you're gonna name it. I'm gonna show you my specific settings in just a second, but you essentially just set up the agent details, the agent goals, what details do you want to collect? And then finally, phone and availability. So you can connect this to your existing number, ideally the same number that's sending out text messages to your leads, to your prospects, because that's where most people are going to call back. It's the number that they get texted from. So let's go through my specific settings so you can see what to do on your account. You'll name it, you'll give it your business name. I like the Jennifer voice, here's how that sounds. The eye sees only what the mind is prepared to comprehend. Now the direction, the only option that you have right now is inbound call. And honestly, that's the only direction that I would ever use this AI voice agent for, is picking up an inbound call. The reason being, that person's only gonna ask one of a few things. And you know what those questions are probably going to be. Hey, I got your text. I have a call coming up. I need to reschedule. How do I book a call? It's usually the same series of questions over and over again, and you can train the AI to look for those questions and answer it. So the initial message, this is very important. Thanks for calling Lead Gen J. My name's Jen. I'm an AI trained by Jay himself. So it's really important here to let them know that it's an AI talking to them. This is unlike conversational AI where you don't have to say that it's an AI talking to them. With a phone, a voice system, it's better just to be upfront and transparent about it. I let them know that it's an AI at the beginning of that call. I'm trained on lots of common questions that we get. How can I help? Now, almost every time that person is going to say their question and get an answer. So this actually works really well and I'm going to do a demo call for you in just a second so you can see how it works. Let's come into some advanced settings here. This is another really important thing that people miss. Call time limit. You don't wanna go on too long. These phone calls should be short. Um, I have it set at five minutes and I still haven't had one actually go to five minutes. But response speed. AI voice agents are known to be a little bit slow and that slowness is what makes it really obvious that's an AI. So I actually set it to brisk and I really like the pace of brisk. It defaults to normal. I, I made it brisk and I highly recommend that you do the same. Now let's come into agent goals. The prompt is everything here. So if you wanna copy my prompt, I'm gonna have a link for it down in the description so you can grab this entire prompt that I use. It's essentially a series of FAQs, goals, and how to handle certain situations. For example, if they say they need a link or want to book a call, how to handle that. If they detect frustration, how to handle that. So I'm gonna copy this prompt for you. The prompt is everything. The prompt needs to be right. Uh, so it's important that you get this, get this right. They also have some prompt guidelines that you can follow. I recommend that you just take mine, throw it into ChatGPT and then tweak it for yourself. So the next most important thing that you're going to need to set up is the actions. So what is the AI going to actually be able to do? It can do a lot. So it can send an SMS, update a contact field, trigger a workflow and transfer a call. If 
it detects the user says something specific. What do I mean by that? One of the things my AI is trained to do, the goal that I gave it is to get the contact's name and their query. What are they here for? What are they asking? What problem do they have? That's really the only info that I'm concerned with. Now, would it be nice to have their email address? Yes, but having an AI ask someone for their email address and then clarify the email address it takes way too long. I'm not really concerned with it. They're calling me, so I have their phone number. That's enough for me. I don't want the AI trying to clarify each word that somebody potentially foreign is saying to my AI. So for that reason, I keep it simple. Name, what is the issue? The next thing it can do is send an SMS and you can tell it when to. I don't use this feature because I use it in a workflow and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. The other feature that I do use is triggering these workflows. The ability for the AI to trigger these workflows is really the, the bread and butter of this AI inbound reception. It's, it's why it works. So if somebody's calling and saying, I wanna book a call with a human, it can then send them a text or put them into a workflow to get them booked on with a human. If they detect frustration in their current client, it can put them into a workflow to offer them support and get them in touch with the, with the correct person on our team. So as you can see here, these are different triggers, the booking trigger and the offer support trigger. This is triggered when a user requests to speak to a human, agent, sales, support, they request to book a call or schedule a meeting. These are all of the ways that this workflow can be triggered. And if it is triggered, it will say on the phone, I just sent over a link to speak directly with our team, check your text message and WhatsApp. And then it's going to trigger this workflow, which I'll show you in just a second. The second workflow I have set up is the help trigger. So if they recently made a purchase and they're having trouble with their purchase, it's going to look for a set of different uh, words from that client or caller, such as, I need help getting access, I can't get into the course, I never got a confirmation. These are all triggers to the AI to do the offer support trigger, which is gonna put them inside of this different workflow. It can also do a call transfer, but honestly, if you have people standing by on the phones, then there's really no reason to have this AI receptionist anyways. When a call's completed, it's going to trigger the AI inbound call ended workflow, and it's gonna send an SMS. I'll show you how all of this works and how exactly how to set up these workflows in just a second. And then you also wanna receive an email notification when that call is complete. Right now I get it and my operations director gets that email and I'll also show you what that email looks like. So here's the three workflows that I have set up for this AI and as you can see, they're actively working. So when a call is ended, I want to follow up with that prospect and I wanna say, hey, thanks for giving our AI receptionist a call. If they didn't cut it, reply to me here and let me know how I can help. Now this is a really important step that I have set up. Wait until reply. If they do reply, I want my operations team to be notified because if they replied, that's a signal that the AI didn't do a good job, they have more questions. And then here's how the different triggers look. If the AI receptionist detects that they wanna book a call or speak to a human, it's going to go here. And it's essentially gonna send them a text or a WhatsApp with a link to book a call with our team. So a really simple workflow just to get that person the link that they need to schedule a call with our team. So those are the basic workflows. Now let's look at phone and availability. You're gonna assign this to the number that you're sending text from. That's essentially the most important use case for this because when you're sending text messages to everybody, updates, you're giving them a lead magnet, whatever that might be, there's a good chance that they call that number back. If they do call that number back, you need somebody to pick up. And that doesn't have to be a human. That could be this AI receptionist. Now one use case that I have in mind is one receptionist for non-clients and one receptionist for clients. And I would just do that by designating the number that goes out on the text to leads and on the text to clients, and then assigning the, the right receptionist to each number. So let's go ahead and do a test of this AI receptionist. I'm gonna do it from my hushed number. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give this receptionist a call. This call will be recorded for quality purposes. So first it's trying to ring the assigned user. So it probably has me in the system as a lead. So right now it's probably trying to get a hold of one of my salespeople. It'll do that for a few seconds. Hey there, thanks for calling Lead Gen J. My name is Jen. I am an AI trained by Jay himself. I am trained on lots of common questions that we get. How can I help? I'm interested in booking a call with a salesperson. I just sent over a link to speak directly with our team. Check your text messages and WhatsApp. I've sent a link to your text messages and WhatsApp so you can schedule a call with our team. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, what do you guys do? We specialize in cold email training, building custom email systems, and related legend services. If you want more details, you can check out legendj.com 
slash insider. Anything else you'd like to know? I actually just purchased the course and I don't have access to it. How do I get access? Thanks for letting me know. I'm sending a text to you now and I have notified our operations director, Andrew, about the issue. He will be reaching out shortly. Thanks for letting me know. I recommend checking your spam folder and email for a confirmation from Lead Gen J, along with an invite to school.com. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to arrive. You can also go to school.com slash insiders and request access using the email you used for purchase. I've notified our operations director, Andrew, who will follow up shortly to ensure you have everything you need. You'll receive a confirmation via text soon. Anything else I can assist with? Nope, that's it, thank you. So that was pretty damn good. So it sent me all the text messages, it answered all the questions correctly. For an inbound agent, that's just about as, as good as a human could possibly do. And it works 24 seven, and you don't have to pay it by the hour or or a salary. So this is something awesome that you can set up for your clients or for yourself in literally under five minutes using my prompt. So highly recommend that you get this set up. Uh, head to the description if you wanna copy the prompt that I use for my AI receptionist. And I hope this was helpful. If it was, I would love a thumbs up on this video, hit that like button, and make sure you're subscribed so that you can get more tips like this and insights on how to build and scale your business using AI, lead generation systems, and become a better entrepreneur. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon.